to Dark Knight Films Reviews. I'm your host, that's Space, and today we are looking at Silent Night, Deadly Night from 1984. Silent Night, Deadly Night stars Robert Brian Wilson, Lillian Chauvin, Gilmer McCormick, Linnea Quigley, Leo Getter, Tony Nero, Brett Leach, Nancy Borgenite, Tara Buckman, and Will Hare. Silent Night, Deadly Night was directed by Charles Sellier. Now, when this film was shot, parental groups, parents, at the time, the trailer was brought out and they freaked out because they thought that just because of that trailer, this film was implying that it was about Santa Claus killing people. This film had the audacity to take a jolly, loyal, great friend to the children like Santa Claus and turn him into a slasher villain. And you just want to slap the bastard, you know? That wasn't the case. That was not the case of this film at all. Now, the trailer might have misled these idiots, but if they had watched the movie, they would know. This film had a great story to tell. And Charles Sellier was a great underrated director. It had a really impressive cast. I mean, even though a lot of these people were not known peoples other than uh, Lillian Chauvin, who played in a lot of stuff before playing in this. Most of these other actresses and actors and everything in this had this as their first big credit. And then they moved on and did uh, bigger stuff like uh, Linnea Quigley and uh, Leo Getter moved on from this to uh, Halloween 6. Um, Nancy Borgnite, she, she ended up moving on from this to Halloween 4, a prominent performance in that. Tara Buckman, now she was, uh, she was, uh, in quite a bit of stuff prior to this, so, but she's got such a small role in this. Um, and then there's Will Hare as, uh, Grandpa in there. You know all about Santa Claus. He brings presents to all good boys and girls. <laughs> Your daddy told you that, didn't he? You see Santa Claus tonight? You better run, boy. You better run for your life. He's, he's a really good character actor from way back in the day that they brought in for this. But uh, the actors... Robert Brian Wilson and Gilmer McCormick, Terry Nero, they were not known actors. And yet, Charles took a chance casting them in these roles in this. And I think he knocked it out of the park as far as this film. This film cost $750,000 to make, which is not a huge budget by any stretch of the imagination. It's basically a similar budget that Halloween from 1978 had. And this movie, on its opening weekend, it made $2.5 million. But then the parents that picketed it, protested it, 
demanded that it be removed from the theaters alongside these idiot critics who berated the movie and talked so badly about it. Theaters let it affect them, and they pulled it. Which is a shame, because I believe that if this movie had remained in the theaters, it would have made as much money in total for a whole theatrical run as Halloween did. Maybe even more. But it was not meant to be. So the 2.5 million was all the film made theatrically. Still made its money back, but it is a shame that ignorance caused this movie to be put in the place that it was. Because Robert Brian Wilson portrays the adult version of Billy after we see the young actor playing him um, when he's younger and we see his torment that he has suffered when he was a kid watching Tara Buckman's Ellie and her husband be murdered by this robber in a Santa suit. And then being taken to this orphanage and being treated so horribly by Lillian Chauvin's character of Mother Superior. It was a great character study that it doesn't get enough credit of how, I mean, yes, it was over the top with, with the way they did it, but it was for a good reason. This is the making of a killer. Not like the Halloween remake, how Rob Zombie made it, ah, oh, he's just had a shitty life, he's got a horrible uh, family around him, and that's why he's a killer. No. This guy was a normal kid, witnessed his mother and father murdered by a man in a Santa suit. And then he tried to get over it. He was in an orphanage. Had they treated him with the love that he deserved in that orphanage, we wouldn't be telling the story. But no. Lillian Chauvin's character of Mother Superior is the most... Uh, her mental stuff that she does to this poor kid, the whole sex is evil, you know. This, you know, you. If you're naughty, you need to be punished. I mean, it's no wonder that Billy turned out the way he did. And even after all that, he tried to move on with his uh, life and live a normal life. He didn't just immediately get out of the or orphanage and go on a killing spree. Got a nice job at a, a uh, um, little store there. Um... Brett Leach's character of Mr. Sims and Nancy Borgnite's Miss Randall, they, they treated him like a surrogate mother and father. Um, and, it, and it was looking good for him. Until Christmas comes along. It's a hard trigger point for anyone who's been through what 
this kid had. And then Mr. Sims makes the mistake of asking Billy to dress up as Santa for Christmas. And then he, then he, another thing that triggers him, of course, is at the same time, is that the girl that he is basically in love with, Tony Nero's character of Pamela, um, goes and gets, gets together with this jerk asshole that works in the store with them. And he just, that's when he loses it. And it's a really good character study. I, I just don't see why these people couldn't just leave this damn film alone. And uh, and then there's Gilmer McCormick as Sister Margaret. I mean, she is like the Dr. Loomis to Billy Chapman in this. She is... At one point, she's trying to help him. At one point, she's trying to stop him. Um, she never wants him dead. Um, yeah, the, the, she, she plays her so likable. She's totally the opposite of what Lillian Chauvin was as uh, Mother Superior. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, and this, and this film has uh, one of the greatest... Uh, murder uh, set pieces of all time in the scene with uh, Linnea Quigley's character of Denise and uh, Leo Getter's character of Tommy. Um, they're doing naughty things, having sex, and, you know, and, and then uh, her uh, little sister keeps coming in, interrupting him, uh, wanting to know when Santa's coming and everything, and... Uh, then you get that moment when Billy finally shows up, goes in there, and kills Denise. Lifts Linnea Quigley up and impales her ass on those deer antlers in a graphic, badass way. And then when Tommy finds her dead, he gets attacked and puts up a pretty good little fight against the bigger. Uh, that's, that's another thing you don't realize when you think about this movie. Robert Brian Wilson is a big guy, so put him in a in a Santa suit as a killer. He's he's imposing, and he tossed poor uh, Leo Getters. Tommy all over the damn place and uh, eventually kills him. And then Denise's little sister comes down. Does Billy kill her? No. No. She's done nothing wrong. She's not naughty. But uh, I love the look on her face when he gives the it's not a present she would want or anything, but he is, <sighs> he's lost his mind now, so, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, this, this movie is one of the best uh, Christmas horror films um, ever made. Right, it's right up there with Black Christmas for me. Um, so, my rating, even though this movie got shit on by critics and parental groups and everything when it first came out, my rating for this film, I give this 8.3. Out of 10. It is a really great 
film. Like I said, it is a great character study at the beginning. Now, most people might watch this film and think that the slow burn of leading up to him and his uh, mental carnage, uh, well, his mental carnage that he goes through, leading up to his actual physical carnage, they would think that that's boring. Well, I don't find it that way. I find it very entertaining um, seeing what this poor guy goes through leading up to his murder spree. Uh, very, very well done film. Um, Charles Soleil was really good. Um, did a really good job directing this one. Um, what do you think, though? Do you agree with my rating of this film? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because it really does help my channel out a lot. So, the Christmas season is still in effect, and this is not the end. So, I hope you will stick with me, and keep watching my videos that I do for the uh, Christmas season. I'll see you next time.